My name in, 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 the, in, in the Swiss German is Simon Busa. Busa, okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, Simon. I, I, I know you are not allowed to say the uh, last name in English. Why not? <laughs> because a, a Busa is <laughs> another thing. Oh, okay. Well, mm. oh, that's right, <laughs> it is. <laughs> yes, okay. Well, don't worry. I think people will understand. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, so Simone, how did you get involved with these antique instruments, these old instruments? Uh, well, the, the old ones, it, it is the curiosity to, uh, to find the beginnings of things. Of course, I started with, with some normal suction harmonium you, you find everywhere. Um, and then you beg begin to to uh, look about uh, where where it comes from. And I had I had the chance that uh, near nearby there lived Dieter Stalder, who owns a, a big collection of, of harmonium instruments. And I was involved there. Um, uh, to, to restore some of, of his instruments and so I, I came deep to these this early instruments more and more and, and found these uh, different uh, ideas, different things that uh, then bring the, the, the harmonium to its um, definite, definitive uh, um, way then, to, to its definitive form. Okay, uh, why, why do you think that they are valuable? Why would you want to... Do you think there's, that they have something beautiful about them, something unique that makes them worthy? The, the, the really old ones, you mean? Yes, the really old uh, ones. Well, well you, 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 um, um, uh, mainly you find that the sound is a different, has a different quality to what later um, is the normal sound of harmonium. Mm -hmm. um, uh, normally in, in these early instruments you, f you find a sound that, that is um, clear and um, I, I don't know uh, the word in, in English has some round full inside value. Yes. yes. The, the same thing that uh, as a, a singer mm -hmm. you, you need not only air to um, sing, you, you need Stütze, we, we say in, 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 uh, in German. So, so you need uh, uh, to be um, the resonator for yes, your Yes, right. Voice. Well, that's good, yes. And this you can find in these instruments. Mm -hmm. So, and, and if you begin to, to look what are the details, you can find that, that the, the early um, reeds the, in, in these instruments, mm -hmm. they ha, have a different um, proportion than the later ones. Mm -hmm. they, they are um, not as easy to tune it and to bring yeah. in, in a correct voice, yeah. but they have this um, clear and soft, um, a, a kind of soft sharpness. Yes, this is yes a, right. A soft yeah. sharpness. Right. Yes, yeah. the one that it's you, the, the little one that you play. The little one is, is one of these. Yes, yes where, right. Where you really can hear it. Mm -hmm. It's 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 like something you can play in ho at home, but it was you could really hear it well here as well. Yes, of course. Yeah. Well, it's uh, uh, this as well as as I um, uh, told to some people uh, here for this room, I took out the. Mm -hmm. the what is this? The, 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 the box round right. the reeds mm -hmm. that does the sound like yes, this, right. which is for at home. Yeah. It, it's then really around it, mm -hmm. but if you have the, a room, the resonation of a, of a church like here, 